We're all moms with unique families and from different places. But there's one thing we all have in common, our children. Children who deal with serious health conditions. We're there for each other that sometimes nobody else understands. We're the club nobody wants to sign up for. Oh, there's lots of tears, but our sisterhood? We would rather laugh. Come, take a look at our lives and see why we call ourselves the real moms. What's up, Hanson? <laughs> wow. You ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Good morning. Anything he wants to do and puts his mind to, Joe's capable of doing. There's no restrictions to him. It looks good. It's gonna be tough. It's, there's some pretty big waves out here. Good job, Joe! Good job! Woo! Came down for some practice for Special Olympic surf. Uh, he's, he's got a surf competition coming up in October. Mm -hmm. he's, how long have you been doing this? This is your third year, isn't it? <laughs> Carry the one. Yeah, third year. Working with him, it has actually helped me appreciate surfing even more. Sometimes I take myself too seriously, and uh, working with these athletes, and uh, especially Joseph, gives me a much better perspective, even for myself. Hey, Kevin. Oh, goodness, that's a huge one. Oh, Joe just flipped on that one. And she's right there, making sure that he's challenging himself. Nice, nice, nice. Stay on it. He's got it, he's got it. He's got it. Good job. Our pediatrician said that if you want your son to be a sick child, then treat him like a sick child. If you want him to be a quote unquote normal child, then treat him like a normal child. My husband is the greatest. This was actually once his little man cave. He had a TV put up. He had his treadmill and some weight machine, and I'm like, Pete, you're out. The stuff's gotta go. I need, I, we need space. So, so the treadmill is now in the garage, probably filled with like cobwebs. And we added a new finish to the floor, um, kind of destroyed the wood <laughs> floors. Is this Sasha's? Mm hmm. Yeah, fantastic. Look at the back. Oh. <sighs> Did you see the sleeve? Yeah, the three hearts. I mean, she's gonna kill it. Kill it. I know, I can't wait for okay. her to wear that. Okay. We are so excited about this fashion show. They have booked 20 celebrities, and we've got a host, Paris Hilton. One of the things Isabel said when we first met was that it was her dream to have a fashion show of Sasha's art. This is for Paris. <gasps> what? Leaned out no the way. Okay, she needs to do that to my jacket with gold. Ah, I love this! We're going to LA, we're going to support um, Isabel and Sasha. The event is going to be at the Avalon Theater in LA. All I know is I have to go shopping. And there'll be 10 moms and 10 kids. I don't have many concerns about the red carpet and... I pray to God Joe behaves himself. I mean, I like to know what the others are wearing just so I don't stand out like a sore thumb. Carla's got her shoes. I'm gonna have to show her how to strut. Actually, I'm not gonna have to show her how to strut. They're all traveling here to be in this runway show and it's just gonna be so incredibly magical seeing them in Sasha's creations. I'm happy for all these kids to have their moment in the spotlight. I'm looking forward to seeing all the moms and getting to hug them all again and just see them in person, finally. And I'm just praying and hoping that like, I don't have that moment where like I faint because I can't control it. It's just a weird thing. It just takes over. My mind just like does this weird thing and I start feeling hot and I just, <laughs> I just pray that doesn't happen. I shouldn't even talk about it because I feel like I'm putting it out there to the universe, but that's not gonna happen. <laughs> this one yeah. is sick. I wanna stop at that swing set place in person. The one with the $7,000 swing sets? Yes. Um, you can queue and look right on outside at the other one. We had a tornado not too long ago. It's knocked down. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And if you look over the top of there that. There legit was a tornado. There legit was a tornado. It touched down like two roads over and, and this thing like it, just fell like. Well, it was five down. miles away, but it was close enough and it was that night. How many miles did I say? Two roads over, which would be They're two a miles. They're mile apart. Okay, two, two miles, but it was five miles away. But okay, Car Brady. Carly legit thinks um, a tornado knocked it down. So let's not, let's not break that. Do you want to do just a lesson with Carly you know, or do you want to do a lesson with me too? I mean, and I'm okay with either because I will pay you for more than that, given that you're coming here, but you just let me know what you have time for, okay? I'll be looking at your shoes. If you don't have those bells on, I'm going to be ticked off. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. He's so sweet. Guitar guy, we'll be here at 5.30 tomorrow. And now. Uh, 97%. 113 beats per minute. Yeah. I think, you know, he has pretty good control over yeah. being able to bring it down because he never, he never not brings it down. Right. You know, he's, right. it just, just does yeah. usually four or five of, of the breaths. Okay. okay. All right. I think we're good. We're good. We all have issues. We all have tough parts of our life that um, sometimes we may not want to share with others. But everyone has something that they're facing that may be difficult. And my advice would be just to surround yourself with good. Surround yourself with good people, with good things, with good thoughts. Think about it this way, like if you knew when your number would be up and you knew it was 10 years out, would you be strategic about your plan? I think you probably would. I'm a piece of bacon. It's my Halloween costume. When we found out it was mitochondrial disease, there was a dichotomy of feelings that we were glad that we finally had a name to this beast. But at the same time, there was an intense sadness and fear because mitochondrial disease, there's no cure. Carly was diagnosed at 10 months of age with progeria and progeria is known as the aging disease. So for every year that she ages, her body ages eight to 10 years. So the thing about progeria is today, just like there's no cure for aging, there's no cure for progeria. You should just keep getting older every, every five seconds, multiply that times eight to 10. You can see why I'm in a rush sometimes. Carly is such an inspiration. You know, she and Heather both, they choose to make the most out of every day. They choose to live like crazy. Live like crazy sounds like we're running around like chickens with our heads cut off. You see where all these euphemisms come from, right? We haven't cut any chicken heads off, no. But we try to live like crazy. You got your music stand. Got the music stand, don't have this. Do you have your glasses on and or do you need them? No, and no. <laughs> Carl, I'm gonna tune up your ukulele. Okay. Now, what, what is that note you're playing right there? C. A C note, yeah, so let's play the C note. So when Carly says, Mom, all my friends are playing soccer. Can I play soccer? I say, oh my gosh, Carly, that's a great idea. And did you see that they have chess? You can be in the chess club or the math club. You wanna get that, right? <laughs> uh, there you go, that's it. That's the way you do it. Pretty cool, huh? So instead of soccer, I say, how about music lessons? Ready? There we go. Play it by itself. One single note. We'll play some chords in a little bit. So she's learning ukulele now. I feel like piano might be cool. She's going to have, you know, arthritic, like, how can I keep these guys going? She's learning to read the notes. She loves yeah, to sing. She's got her eye on an Ed Sheeran song. We'll see if she can get that on ukulele. But the idea is for her to have other things that can enrich her and keep her inspiration, you know, and her there thoughts go. going maybe in this way versus in a sports direction where typically kids her age are playing sports and of that nature. So I'm trying to push her in this direction, gently. How's your voice? Going me, 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 me. <laughs> That's serious, I hear in tune. Here you go. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are day. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Carly, she can teach us a lot about life. You know, she and Heather both, you know, knowing what they're dealing with on an everyday basis and knowing what they're dealing with for the future, it's, it's tough. If we all live like crazy, I think that we'd be a lot more content with our everyday life. We'd be a lot more happy with our circumstances. Heather's somebody who I'm very grateful to have in my life, somebody that I can call if we're having a bad day. You know when you meet somebody very different, but you're very similar, it's almost like you're looking in their eyes and they're like, you see me and I see you and I know you, I know you. That's how I feel about Amber. She makes me laugh. She makes me realize what's really important in life. She's great with giving me advice because it's, she doesn't approach it the same way as I do. I'm very grateful that our, our paths have crossed because I found a lifelong friend. My dad met a lot of famous wrestlers. Yeah, they could talk around. The Miz, that's what I Yeah. All right, bud, come on. Carly, come out and see if you no. can do the shelf thing for me. You don't like this, mommy. So last night, Cole exploded. Poop was coming out the sides of the diaper. Have we officially told Madison yet, or no? No. Managing five kids alone is going to be a challenge for me. Leaving you here with the five kids, I want to make sure you're good. But I'm also scared about how the kids are going to react. It's really sad because I'm going to miss him. My husband is being deployed again at the end of this year. Hey guys, we hope you like this episode of Real Moms. Please click on the subscribe button. And to watch more Real Moms and behind-the-scenes goodies, go to realmoms.org.